What is going on, guys? My name is Joshua Cat Monsworks, aka King Mark. And say a bag with another video. So, this video is uploaded by the Avatarist. Today, he's going to be talking about the first episode, spoiler free review. I'm curious to see what his thoughts are going to be on this genre. And, uh, yeah, I, it's definitely exciting. I definitely can't wait to hear it. Uh, so apparently everybody they went to a freaking red carpet premiere and everybody got a chance to see that jar early, man. God damn it, bro. I really want to see that jar too, bro. But uh hey, one day that could be us though. Hitting the red carpet, seeing seeing something live action. That's gonna be us one day. I believe it. I'm speaking to existence. You feel me? Yeah. I feel it, bro. It's gonna happen. But um so it's a spoiler free review. I'm definitely curious to see what you guys say about it. But check it out, man. I've long painfully long years of waiting. I have finally got to watch the very first episode of Avatar The Last Airbender, and it was... A couple of weeks ago, I received an email from Netflix inviting me to the oh, world okay, premiere of Avatar okay. The Last Airbender. Jobs, so naturally, okay. I freaked out and said, of course. Of course I'll go. I got my suit, I flew to LA, got yeah, an Airbnb look at this that was fly, way too expensive. Oh. A couple of weeks ago, I received an email from Why Netflix inviting me to the like world that? premiere no. of Avatar The Last Airbender. Uh -uh, so bro, naturally, I freaked you, out Let me see and said, some. of course. Of course I'll go. I got my suit, I flew uh -uh, to LA. Buddy. Nah, nah, nah. We ain't going to... We ain't... We ain't... We ain't. Play. Got an Airbnb that was after five long... I'm sorry. Painfully right, long years of waiting. I have I finally got that. to watch the My very first episode drink, of Avatar drink. The Last Airbender. And it was... A couple of weeks ago, I received on, an email bro, from Netflix it. inviting My me to the world said. premiere of Avatar The Last Airbender. Bro. So naturally, I freaked out and said, of course. Of course I'll go. I got my suit. I flew to... Bro, my man said... He said, yo, make sure you get my... Make sure you get my guess Make sure you get my guess Yo, my man said, make sure you get my guess out. Make sure you get my guess out. I mean, it was for y'all, that fly motherfucker. Okay, I see you. All right, Mr. Fly Man. Mr. Fly Man, I see you, cuz. You looking pretty good. I'm not even freaking hold you. You looking good, homie. I see you. I see you, bruh. I see you. Over oh, there, starting. You crazy, motherfucker. You crazy. Mm, mm. Starting on the game. I feel you. LA got an Airbnb that was way too expensive and I was ready to go. When I got to the venue, there was a bunch of cool stuff to do. There was an avatar themed boba truck serving free boba. I got pictures on the red carpet. I mean, yellow carpet. I met a bunch of cool people along with the co-creator of Avatar The That's Last Airbender. Day, and then it was time to watch the episode itself. The actual experience of watching an episode like this in the theater was phenomenal. I had never experienced a show like that in that type of environment ever. There were people laughing, cheering, yelling, and literally crying. It felt like the emotions were dialed up. Bro, to really? Is that room. good? Again, this was the invite-only premiere. This was not the fan premiere. I know the experience a lot of you guys had in the fan premiere was very different than the one I had here, but this video is about my experience. After the episode finished, I was a little emotional too. In that moment, I truly felt like the episode was nearly perfect, but now it's been a few days. I've got to calm those nearly emotions perfect? down a little bit and think about the episode objectively. So, how was it? I can confidently say that 90% of fans will be extremely happy with this show. If oh, their expectations yeah. are not for a shot for shot remake. If you're looking for that, you're in the wrong place, man. Where the show truly shines is when they're doing their own thing. When the show has its own See, choreography. That's what I said. Is Ain't nothing wrong with taking risk. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Take risk, take a chance, bro. Do your own thing. There's nothing wrong with the take like taking chances, bro. And that's what they did, bro. I respect that, man, to the fullest, bro. And it's so charming. I've noticed this on a few occasions when they try to do something exactly like the cartoon. It tends to fall just a little flat. For example, this boomy clip right here, they've been using it to promote the show a lot. It's practically a shot-for-shot -shot remake of the cartoon in this one clip, but it just looks a little bit weird. The same thing kind of happens with some of the jokes being told. They don't really hit as hard without the support of animation. Luckily, these scenes or line-for-line -line dialogue of the cartoon are not a massive part of the show. For the most part, they actually did an amazing job translating things into live action. Scenes like this that take concepts from the animation and alter them to fit live action is what makes okay, up the majority but, uh, of this okay. episode, which not is every, amazing. Now would be a good time to take a moment and, and talk about the cast that's performances okay. because there that's were a lot okay. of that's surprising fine. things that's, that's here. Fine. Ian Owsley as Sokka had the entire theater dying. He's Bro, he looks great as Sokka, man. He looks better. great. He looks like Sokka, but 
most bro, important. I can't wait to see it. Uh, like the, from the trailer, bro. Lou Azuko is also bro, one of my like, favorite bro, parts he, of this episode. He has trailers. Like, he has trailers, bro. Had me and some cases, from I what can I've seen, easily see him becoming a fan. These two, I'm, I'm like not going to. In my opinion, and the kid, young boy, bro. I think he's going to be great, but I think the main highlight is going to be Sokka and the after Fowler, Ozai, Zuko, and Sokka. I feel like they're going to, like. You know, this is when they, I, I, did, I, I think they got a little bit of experience when it comes down to the acting shit. Because from the trailer, I feel like they just got it down to it. See, Zuko, boy, from like, Zuko, they got it down. Uh, my man Sokka and Ozai, he just got, he got the look. I mean, he didn't really hear him talk too much. Because he didn't really talk too much in the show. But like, the OG show. But like, he got the, he got the look to him. He got that. Got the, he got the chest all poking out and shit. He probably, you know, he got a muscle pump. He got the muscle pump. Before he, before he, <laughs> before the episodes dropped and shit, but my man, like my man, he got, he got that look on you, work. He got that, he got that, bro, 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 he got that, yo, <laughs> yo, he got that look on you, work. Bro, my man got that look on him, you feel me? So you know he mean business. He got that look. I ain't hear him up. I ain't hear both talk. But from Sokka and my man's uh uh Sokka and my man's voice actor, like not voice actor, but the actor for Zuko, I feel like they're gonna be the biggest highlights of the show. Zuko. I'm really and looking forward to see what they're going to be and doing Uncle with Zuko Iroh, because right? in the trailers we see Shao is attacking too. Kyoshi Island, so what is Zuko going to be doing? There's no way they're just going to cut Zuko out of this episode entirely. Uh, his performances are just too good to just not have him on screen every episode. Gordon Cormier as Aang was easily the most surprising thing to me. Uh, the amount of emotion he displayed during a certain scene rivaled some of the cartoon's best moments. Also, the kid is just so adorable. There's this scene where he's calling for Appa and he's screaming his name. He's like, Appa, Appa, have you seen him? My bison, it is so, so cute. And I'm not exaggerating when I say this. When I looked around at other people as he was saying this line, I saw everyone smiling. That kid it was like, yeah. was also extremely humble they as all, well. Another yeah, YouTuber. You know the in that theater was like, they was all looking at each other like this. They was all sitting in their chair like this. They was like, They were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They was dabbing each other. They was like, yeah, yeah. It was like, he's very proof of shit. You know them. Bro, you know they was dabbing each other up in that job, bro. They was over their head. They was like, they was hitting the, the nugget and shit like that. <laughs> you know they was, bro, you know they was gassing it up, bro. You know they was over each other. Like, I actually Geez. met him at the after party. And we told him how great his performance was and how it rivaled some of the cartoon's most emotional scenes. And he was like, I would never want to compare myself to that Aang. He's amazing. I would never want to put myself above or even on his level. And honestly, it was just so heartwarming to see how much he respects the source material. Yeah, Paul Sung yo, Young Lee yo, as bro. Iroh. I'm going to be honest here. I didn't see enough of him to truly judge how I feel. He he wasn't really in episode one all that much. Like, Grand Grand had more lines than him. That's how little we saw of Iroh. I will say this though, from the very little bit of Iroh I did see, there's definitely shades of Iroh's wisdom there, which is a good sign. Gao and Dio as Katara overall felt pretty good. There were some lines thinking back that were just a little odd, like that line in the teaser where she calls herself a warrior. And I'm not talking about the line delivery. The line delivery was great and she's an amazing actress. I just think this is a little weird for Katara to say. It's also good to keep in mind yeah. that this is just Oh, yeah, I think I remember that. We don't know this version of Katara all that well yet. Uh, this could end up making sense later on for her version of Katara. I saw a lot of people online complaining about Grand Grand. Uh, she has a lot of lines in this first episode. Personally, I didn't mind Grand Grand. Uh, she kind of just did her job. Grand Grand is well, the not just Grand Grand. It's Grand Grand. You can't hit on Grand Grand. Provide the most information out of everyone in the Grand movie. Grand. Grand Grand was okay with me for the most part. The visual yeah, effects were phenomenal, that's but can't, there were two scenes that I can definitely critique. But I was I'll told they're still working on the VFX so and it will great. be fixed when it releases. As for the Avatar world itself, it was so emotional seeing all of these iconic locations from the animated series in real life. Even though these locations were all CGI, they felt real. It felt like something I could go and see in real life. This is a fantasy series. Making a fantasy series for uh, bro, real I'm is hard, you. but they pulled it off. I, I love think this how the backgrounds like are always moving. There's the next trees Harry in the Potter, background bro. moving. People are doing stuff it's in the village. Right. Just I really because the camera is focused Netflix's on Aang, Katara, hit. Osaka, doesn't mean the village stops working. I'm sorry. Mommy, I'm sorry for cussing, okay? I love you. 
But remember, remember when Avatar Last Ember Airbender came out on Netflix? Well, it came back, you know, the OG show came on Netflix and broke the internet for like months. I don't want I I I want this show to break numbers, break records, bro. I really want people to talk about this genre for years because Avatar like, it's iconic. It's iconic. You know, it's an iconic show. So I need this. I, I I want that. I want that show to be that next big thing, bro. And I can't wait to see what book two and book three look like. There are people always two, working in the background. Two. They're getting things done. It truly feels real. This was a massive problem in the 2010 movie. There are scenes where the background characters are literally doing nothing in that movie, and it just felt so odd. In particular, the Southern Air Temple really look how beautiful this looks, bro. Uh, the colors, just seeing people interact with the look, environment itself. It's colorful, itself, it's vibrant. It was all just a ton Everything of fun. Looks the animal like, CGI it was perfect. I couldn't even find a flaw with Appa so if I tried. Good, Netflix I really they wanted to nail Appa, and they clearly did. The bending was really good. You'd have to be a massive nerd like myself to even nitpick it. This one scene comes to mind, which was already officially revealed, so I guess I can talk about it. This scene of this earthbender right here. It looks a little off, right? It's because he throws two punches before the rocks actually move. Some rocks should have moved with the first punch, and then the rest with the second punch. In Avatar, bending is an extension of your limbs. You punch, you bend. You kick, you bend. There are no moments of things being delayed. This is a nitpick and really isn't a big deal to 99.9% .9 of fans. People are going to watch this and think it looks epic anyway, which I mean, it does look epic, but if you're a nerd like me, you'll notice the bending being a little bit off. Luckily, I didn't notice a single other time where the bending felt weird. For the most part, the bending mechanics are the same as the cartoon. If you're going into the show and you're looking to hate everything, or you're wanting it to be the exact same Just as the enjoy cartoon, it. you aren't willing to compromise like at all. I said, you're and probably just, going just to find enjoy things you the don't show. like about this series. Enjoy but if you're going into this with an fun. open mind and you're willing to give it a chance and let give its charm it, right, and its magic on you, you're going to fall in love with the show. I promise you. It's just like Uncle Iroh said. If you look for the light, you can often find it. But if you look for the dark, that is all you will ever see. Facts, too. Uh, hey, I'm liking it. Can't wait to hear it. I can't wait to watch it. February 22nd. Uh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good stuff, guys. Um, I said for the, that's probably. I pro, let me see if anything else I wanna upload. That's probably it for today, guys. I'll probably upload one more video, maybe some today or tomorrow. We'll see. That is it for today's uploads. Thank you guys so much for love and support. Um, make sure I edit these all out and pick these out for you guys. So you guys can sit and watch, and enjoy and laugh. Um, I'm excited. I know you guys are all excited too to watch. So. This is boy MGH1, aka Maj Marcus, aka The Flying Lotus, and I'll see you guys in my next video, aka The Anime Bad Boy. Out of this bitch. Bye, Z! I'll see y'all, I'll see y'all, I'll see y'all on uh, episode one premiere. I'll see you guys on Thursday. Catch you guys soon.